Good morning, everybody. My name is Gabby. I am here with Willie. This is week two of puppy school that we are wrapping up here with Willie. Um, so we are going to go through good boy his weekly review and show you a little bit of what he has been working on this week at puppy school. So puppy school is a three week program. Each week we work on different things. <clears throat> so what we worked on this week, a little bit of place. He's already doing it. <laughs> He's already laying down. He knows the drill. Good boy. Yes. So we can work on some stays and sits and downs on place. Stay. So before I ask for that stay, I want to make sure he's looking at me so I need a little bit of noise to get his attention onto me. Then I ask him for that stay. Good boy. Once he's successful, I can give him that reinforcement on that place. Good job, bud. You're a little tangled. Hold on, bud. Ready? Let's go. So I'm going to take him off the place. So when you're starting place, you can use a place like this. You can use different types of ones. Um, you have some raised ones over in the corner. Um, you can use a soft bed. You can use a spot on your carpet. You can use whatever you like. The only thing we differentiate is crate. So <clears throat> when you start out, you're going to use a piece of food and you are going to lure onto that place. Yes, good job. And once he goes on, I'm going to mark and I'm going to get reinforce. Free. After that, you're going to use pinch fingers without any food in it. And you're going to do the same thing. Lure him on. Yes. Good boy. And then give him that reinforcement for being able to go out to that place. Last step, free, is to use a hand signal. So we use a flat hand. We use a sweeping motion towards place. Good job. Good. Stay. We can work on some stays again. Uh -uh. So there he popped off. I'm not going to reward him for that. I'm going to put him back on. Yeah. Good boy. Stay. And we're going to try again. Good boy. Very nice. As he gets better with this, what you can start to do is increase that distance. You can increase the level of distraction, or you can increase the duration of time that he is on that place. Good boy. So he's doing really nicely with that. <coughs> Another thing we worked <coughs> on this week is hand target. So what I'm gonna hold my hand out. And I'm looking for his nose to touch my hand. Target. Yes, good boy. Very nice. You can switch hands. Target. Yes, good boy. Now this is a great thing to teach your dog so that it's another way to get their attention back on you. So if you're in a distracting environment, you're out in public, he's a little bit distracted, you can do a little bit of target to get him refocused on what you're asking him. Very nice. Good job. Are you sleepy? Ready? Okay. Good boy. So he's doing very nicely with that. Another thing we worked on with him this week is a little bit of grooming. So I'm going to show you that in body handling. So it's very important when your dog is young to make sure you're exposing them to different things. Please. Good boy. So here I have a brush. I have some nail clippers. And what I'm going to do to start, yes, good boy, is I am just going to mark and reinforce her calm behavior while I have this in my hand. Yes, not really going to do anything yet. Oh, you lost it under your ear. There we go. I'm just going to hold it in my hand. Then we can also work a little bit on body handling. So, just making sure I'm able to uh -uh, check in his ears, in his mouth. I can touch his paws. All of this is going to help when you take your dog to the vet, when you take them to the groomers. <clears throat> yes. So 
sit right there and just held his paw for a couple of seconds, put some pressure on his paw pad. Yes, like you would if you were clipping his nails. I'm gonna check in his ears. Yes, good boy. Very nice. So again, very important to work on this with your dog so that when you take them to the vet or you take them to the groomers, it's a lot less scary for them. There, I'm checking in his mouth. If he goes to mouth, I'm gonna take my hands away. I'm gonna tell him, uh-uh. And I'm gonna try again in a couple of seconds. Very nice, good boy. Good job. So very quick in the beginning. So once he's doing well, then I can start to bring, uh-uh. So there he went to mouth that clipper. Yes, good boy. That time he just sniffed it, he didn't mouth it at all. And just putting the clippers on his nail. That time I put a little bit of pressure on one of his nails. So you're gradually making it more difficult, okay? Uh-uh, nope. So he doesn't get anything for that? Yay, good boy! So that time I was actually able to clip his nail and he was not mouthing at all, so that's great. You wanna do that with all of his paws, we are also going to work on the brush a little bit. We have been working on this, so he's doing really well with it. In the beginning, what you might have to do is hold out a treat as you start to introduce that object or that brush. Good boy. Very nice. So he's doing very well with that. Good job. Next thing we worked on with him is a little bit of leave it. So I'm going to put it in back room in this place so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. Come here. Good. So, in the beginning of Leave It, I'm going to start with the closed hand. I'm going to hold that hand out and I'm going to wait for his nose to come off of my hand. Once it does, I'm going to mark with a yes and I'm going to get reinforced. Okay? He has gotten to the point now where I can have that open hand. We want him in a sit or a down when we're starting this off. Leave it. Yes, good boy, very nice. I'm able to ask for that leave it when he looks over at that food and he looks back at me and I'm gonna reward or reinforce. <coughs> good boy. Leave it. Yes, good. It's kind of hard to see on the camera but he did look at me that time. Very nice. Did you lose it? Now, when you start this out at home, I want to make sure that he knows this before I'm asking for that actual leave it command. So in the beginning, when you have that closed hand, all you're doing is wait, waiting for his nose to come off. Again, you're marking and reinforcing. Once he's doing well with that, then you can start looking for eye contact. You might need to use a little bit of prompting in the beginning, which is making a little bit of noise to get him to look at you. And then as he's doing well with that, then you can start asking for that leave it when he looks at that hand. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna start moving it towards the ground. Uh-uh. Leave it. Yes, good boy! Leave it. Yes, good boy! Very nice, so that last one I was able to put that kibble onto the place asked for that leave it and he was able to look at me. So he's doing a great job with this. I know you guys said this morning that you used it at home and he did look at you, so that is fantastic. Okay. Now the last thing we worked on is a little bit of drop it. You can do drop it with items. You can work drop it with toys. See if he's interested. Sometimes he's, he likes to play, sometimes He's not as interested, so we'll see if we can get him to pick up one of these. Thank you. Good job, boy. Very nice. Drop. Yes. Good job. So, what you want to do when you're working on this at home is you 
want to have two identical toys. So we have two tennis balls here. Drop. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good job. So it makes it a little bit easier when you're starting off drop to have those identical toys. So he doesn't favor one over the other. Good job. Sit. Yes. Very nice. You can also use food for dropping as well. So I can ask for that drop. Drop. Yes, good boy. You wanna make sure you're never taking the toy and ripping it out of your dog's mouth, okay? That could cause future resource guarding issues and we do not want that. So we wanna make sure we're training for something else. In the beginning, your dog is gonna to have to see that other item. So they'll have to see that other toy or they have to see that food. As they start to get better with it, then you can have that toy behind your back. You can have that food still in your pouch when you ask for that drop it, okay? But he's doing an excellent job wrapping up week two with us here at Puppy School. He's having a lot of fun. He also made a friend this week. He has another puppy friend here that he got to socialize with as well. Did very well with that. So if you guys have any questions, let us know. We will see you next time.